Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? It's Shuttleworth the God, a.k.a. the GOAT artist, LB, Del Boss, Soul Wars creator, Ring Gang radio innovator. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ring Gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. You already know who it is. Your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxer in the building, aka Rap Face Killer. Yeah, Ring Gang Radio. Hey, Bodega P, King P, straight from the sewer. As always, man, he's always keeping our city safe, city safe, and finding the Foot Clan and all types of mutated, you know, creatures that were, that, were, that came in contact with the ooze and shit, man. So we salute you for your service, you know. And last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I should have the Avengers music playing in the background for me. But yo, this is uh, PJ, the fight architect uh, from None of Your Business Canada. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I mean, None of Your Business Canada, you know, because where, you know, where he lives, you know, there's only a population of like 100 anyways. So that's why he's at least None of Your Business anyway. So it's all good, oh, man. Damn. You know, <laughs> undisclosed location, not the fucking barren arctic wasteland nigga. Like, yeah he's from i'm going from, to i'm going to send an army of canadian geese after people yeah. who just had to as, <laughs> as as we as we would say if, if if he was a wrestler we would say he's from parts unknown yeah oh <laughs> man <laughs> word <laughs> Well, yo, dig, man. We got, you know, we got a nice show for you tonight. Uh, first thing we're gonna we're gonna tackle are the recaps. We actually had a very enjoyable boxing weekend, you know. For once, you know, it's been a while since we had an enjoyable boxing weekend in 2020. You know, this year has been absolute hell all around, not just in boxing, but just the whole world. So it's just nice to be able to sit there and zone out to some boxing for a couple hours or three or four. So it's all good. So the first one we're gonna tackle. You know, had you know had the most controversy, the PBC card on Showtime, um, with the main event of David Benavides uh, versus uh, was it Romer and Gulo? What kind of name is Romer, anyways? I think it's Alexis, but well, it, like it, it's pretty. It's like Romer, Alexis, and Gulo, some shit like that. So that's that, that's a that's a wild name, but you know, hey, no Alfredo's people. distant cousin. <laughs> sure. Oh man, but uh, first, before we get to the main event, there were two, you know, there were two fights on the on the card. The first one, of course, was the return of Otto Wallen, who you know is coming back after giving current lineal and WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury all types of hell, you know, and and probably was robbed of actually winning that fight by. Oh, 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 let's oh come on, let's not start already with that bullshit. Was it fucking that shit. fuckery? <laughs> <laughs> It was some straight fuckery in that fight. That motherfucker should have won by TKO. But um, anyways, you know, and but then, but then we were, you know, trying to see where he falls in because he gets very trouble. So where does he fall into this heavyweight division? So he fought um, regular PBC journeyman, uh, Travis Kaufman, who's coming back from shoulder injury. So it was just, so pretty much it would just be a, a showcase for us for either see either we're falling you know, is someone to look out for in the heavyweight division, or is Kaufman, you know, was able to rise to the occasion one more time? And didn't both uh, these dudes, didn't both these dudes, like, have COVID? Didn't both these dudes recover from COVID or some shit? They certainly did, yeah. Well, I think out of one, also had, like, recovered from a foot injury, too, as well. You know, so, it, it, so oh, yeah, that, it was a good uh, theory put in his ass last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Stupid, yeah. Uh, but no, it was a. I mean, it was a. It was a decent fight. It wasn't overly spectacular. I mean, one thing for Vaughn though, Vaughn, you know, he showed a jab. You know, he showed some good boxing. And then Kaufman, I don't think really showed anything. I think Kaufman was like done, done. 
Um, yeah, like, yeah. By, by the fourth round, I hear I hear these niggas like breathing, like, uh, yeah. like 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 fat niggas, like fat <laughs> niggas breath. Like, like I'm like I had to. I texted LB. I'm like I had to turn around, make sure nobody was kind of fucking run up on me. Niggas breathing kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Michael Myers in the living room or some shit. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the problem with no. That's the problem with no crowd. You hear every fucking thing. The mics pick up every goddamn. Nah, we just thing. heard them. I didn't hear. Everybody like those. <laughs> like two yeah, fucking walruses just, were in the room. That's just them. <laughs> that was just them. Yeah, and uh, every ass damn Darth Breeder, I mean Darth Vader, damn breathing and shit. <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, pretty much, I me mean, Valen just boxed Kaufman up. Kaufman didn't really have anything. He just walked into some jabs. He walked in some work. I mean, Valen wasn't. I mean. He, he he was I mean he he boxed okay but he wasn't as sharp as I thought he would probably be, but it was more than enough. I mean the fight came to an end when Kaufman threw out his shoulder and this was a sur- hit on his surgically repaired shoulder. Um, you know and of course he told the corner to stop it. So following one I think it was a fifth round TKO. Yeah, it was fifth round TKO. Um, so hey at least you know Fury at least we you know, we can't dump on Fury for you know for struggling with Otto Wallen, you know. Wallen at least kept his butt, you know, in the bargain and looked decent, you know. So we're gonna see, I mean, he, I think he signed the PBC, so obviously we're gonna see him on future uh, PBC cards, Fox or Showtime going forward. Hold on, was this like a trade? Like uh, they, they traded a, a Jabba, a Jabe? Uh... <laughs> for for, for Wallen. <laughs> yeah, I paid a Jogba for, for Wallen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's a, a equal trade. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I don't think that's an equal trade at all. <laughs> Y'all niggas say you know we'll give you Paul Gasol <laughs> uh, for Jamil Nelson. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I don't know. I mean, that don't make too much sense. But oh, well. I mean, PBC needs a heavyweight boost, and they got one. And meanwhile, Top Rank already has a pretty. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. PBC already had a, a bunch of heavyweight boosts. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. How many boosted? <laughs> <laughs> Would they just do the booster chair at the whole fucking table? <laughs> Five booster chairs put together. <laughs> so, well, they needed a boost. Yeah, you had Wilder, like you, you got Ruiz, you, you got Kalnaki. Y'all, y'all still rolling out Chris Ariola, like. Wait, don't they also have Ortiz? Yeah. They, no, like, no, come wait. on. Do, do they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Luis Ortiz, yeah. Yeah, they still have one. Yeah, yeah, but they need like an actual boost. <laughs> they're, they're trying to stack the heavyweights like the Golden State. Oh yeah, yeah so so yeah, Valen's <laughs> really gonna. Yeah, I put think them, the gym membership yeah. over there need a boost, like some training <laughs> boost. Yeah, I mean now everybody's a one trick pony. I got no defense. Yeah, Valen is the. <laughs> Valen is the piece that's gonna put them over the top. The the Andre Iguodala. Yeah. <laughs> but he could do it. With his He's IKEA close catalog. To the real heavyweight champ. <laughs> He's got the IKEA catalog, and that means the stock keeps changing every couple months. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. But I mean, yeah, he definitely I mean, at two forty one, I think. I mean, yeah, I mean I think He's usually like in the mid 230s. I assume, I mean, I think he's coming under 230 before. So, man, hopefully, dude needs to just, you know, work that cardio out. I mean, since, it was, since he had a point about a year, so he'd be a little sharper and whatnot. Um, for Kaufman, it, it, it's obviously the end of the line for him. I mean, he had a good run, but, um, you know, fighting on the lower cards for PBC. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's a wrap for him. Like, you know, once you throw out your surgically repaired shoulder, it's a wrap. You know, it's, you know it's, it's you're done. I mean, Bruce said he um he lo- if he lost two fights in a row he'd retire. So yeah, that's what you're worth. Got to hold your end to yeah. the bargain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. I so. deserve to have a nice retirement after losing two fights in a row. <laughs> I deserve to have a hospital bed after being laid out twice. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I always remember Kaufman for at least. You know, giving Chris Ariel a hell of a fight, a fight yeah. that I mean, they could have gave him, but I mean that's just more on um, on Ariel more than Kaufman. Ariel just was you know, that's just another disappointment. You know, just watching him struggle like that. And Kaufman wasn't a bad fighter. You know, he he was solid. It just I feel like it, 
cardio kind of held him back. I mean, yeah. who, who wasn't giving nipples a tough time, though? <laughs> I mean, shit, even Curtis Hopper gave uh, Ariel a hard time. And he didn't want no parts of a job or so. <laughs> You know, so yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it also just dawned on me when uh, King P said nipples. It just dawned on me with the connection. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was a decent fight. And, you know, oh, damn. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing where Valen goes within PBC. Now, the next fight, however, was by, is by far the most controversial fight of the weekend. Um, we have Rolando Roley Romero. You know, one of TMT's top prospects, and then the us, Spar War King. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to um, you know, figure out the whole top prospect for TMT stuff because they have a lot of failed prospects lately. Um, Shit, I wish Badu Jack would get some of these damn close decisions for a change. Fact, like, <laughs> waste them all on them PBC them uh, the TMT jobbers. <laughs> Facts. And then he and he uh, Romero would face Jackson Meneras, you know, for one of the interim lightweight belts that PBC likes to have on their cards. Uh, but prior to the belt, Romero had been, you know, mouthing off, talking about, yeah, you know, th- this dude's gonna, he's gonna get KO, and you know, I, I punched too hard, blah blah this. And Romero sounds kind of special when he talks too. I don't know if you guys noticed that, like, dude, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro, he he does seem like something's off. Yeah, yeah. the lights the, the lights are on, but nobody's home type of vibe from him is what I get. Like he's right. worse than Tank. Like he's he's more he's worse yeah, than yeah. Tank. Yeah he is. He is. I mean Tank actually has actually improved with his speaking. Like this guy speaks clear and dumb. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah Tank is more like a ball of energy just sometimes he's, it's like, he's just happy to be there. Yeah like he like He's speaking before he says something. Like he could get out thoughts though. Like this guy was on some other shit, bro. Yeah, like, you know, it's like it's like damn. Like how so? so how long has he been fighting with headgear for? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like damn. You know, but um, he could punch though. He, you know, he. You know, yes, he can. He, he, and he, he makes a help. sound effect for virtually every punch he throws. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know because I've never really heard about this guy into this fight. Like, no, I, no, I, no, no, I, I, I heard of, a month. Yeah. Now I heard, heard about him because me. he's just, he's just like his name. Oh, people was like, oh, Raleigh could beat Tank. Like, oh my God. Like they was hyping him up too much a little bit. Yeah. yeah and then I, mean, I was like. I took yeah, a look at him like cool. Raleigh is too big anyway. One of the biggest things is like he's kind of like uh, an IG. He's pretty much known for social media because you know like how there's trolls who like to say like oh you know I can beat you and stuff like that. So he's kind of known for like, like inviting the trolls in and he beats the shit out of them. And uh, he's also known for that one old video of him sparring with Ryan Garcia where I mean he did make Ryan Garcia look like he was struggling. So that was like his running yeah, thing. Like, to which his you, oh, oh, that's which is hilarious because when I watch this guy fight, he comes off like a fucking Dollar Tree Brian Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like how Brian Garcia. He gets like a Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, basically, I, I deserve a demo version of Ryan Garcia. <laughs> Yo, know, but yeah, basically, I mean. And I know people were always saying, like, dude would probably get exposed because he wasn't in the boxing, which is also true. Like, dude had a little problem with the boxing. And, you know, and it came quick. It came early. Like, pretty much, it's just like, LB, me and LB were talking, like, dude was just running into jabs, you know? <laughs> you know, like, dude just did. Damn, they're leaping into these jabs, not even running into them. Right. And he was, try- and he was trying to air him out early, but Mineros was actually able to take his shots out. In fact, I don't think... For all the shots that, Mar- um, that Romero landed, I don't think Maris was actually bothered by his power at all. I think it was just a case of, like, Rolando ran into a guy who's, like, the same size and can deal with it. So for what Rolando thinks it might be his best shot, Mariñez was just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah Mariñez kind of, like, took everything. But then another thing is, too, a lot of Romero's shots were, like, telegraphed. So yeah. very you could brace for shots like that like especially if you know you're taking something off of them by sticking the jab and it's like he's having a little after lag on his his, it was a telegraph a telegram a phone call a text message a postal (laughs) service coming with skip the dishes and all these uber eats you could tell when they were all coming 
<laughs> and, and his and and his form was weird as hell as is. So if you're gonna have an upright form like that, like why the fuck are you telegraphing everything? Like honestly, I just I mean he looked horrible, bro. Like yeah, he looked, he he's looked. probably the worst boxer I've seen on a national spotlight like this. Like I'm talking about when you just look at everything and, and from head to toe, like the footwork was bad. The top half of his body seemed out of sync, so he was like, uh, uh, "Let me see, a uh, uh, great value Amir Khan <laughs> <laughs> with a with a little bit of Dollar Tree Ryan Garcia." Mm-hmm. Um, he kept leaping and shit like he's a damn Walgreens Joe Frazier. Yeah, like, <laughs> all he did was just, and, 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 and yeah, and look, he was leaping into the jab. Like pretty much, Benares was just. Beating him up with jab, it was like boom, snapping his head back. Yeah. He's been jab. I, I kind of wish Mar- um, Marinia is would actually step back and throw the right hand instead of the jab. Sometime, I mean, he was getting him with hooks. I still felt like he won clean and clear as day. I mean, I mean he step padded him to death. Yeah, yeah. He, he, did, he did. And it, it got to the point enough where, to win. Yeah, and yeah. it got to the point where Romero was so frustrated because he kept using his fucking forearm. Like he tried to like forearm him in the yeah. fucking neck all the time. Yeah, he was mad dirty. He, yeah, he got mad dirty at the end. Yeah. yeah, he was getting frustrated and everything, but you know, running in the jabs all night to do that to you. <laughs> and, then the, yeah. and the dead tail sign in the corner is when and when Roly kept asking, kept I just asked, "Am I winning?" I'm like, he doesn't know. He thinks he's fucked. Yeah, the uh, Romero twi- uh, Romero's trainer was like sweating. Like you can see his motherfucker. Like when that when that scores were being ready, you can see you, you can see worry all over his face. Like he's like, damn, this nigga's about to take an L on national TV, man. The fuck, am I gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, one thing I did say, I texted LB. I said, uh, uh, Rolando had like L- the, uh, the L trigger stuck, like locked down, like it was fight night champion. Everything was just like a wild power shot. Nothing was like a light or a setup. Everything yeah. was power, power, yeah. power. Yeah. yeah, he just he kept kept he kept holding down the L two button. <laughs> Hell yeah, and made a sound effect for every goddamn move because yep. everybody who's been to a boxing gym knows one person who does that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every gym has that one sound effect guy. It never fails. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, and, 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 no, nah, that that. That is so fucking annoying. It's like, oh, it is. like yeah, niggas, it, niggas, right? niggas might as well just be like, come on, like nigga, like the fuck, what's wrong with you? Every striking gym has their own Rosell. Right, and then it's fun. And then when the <laughs> you know, PJ, you look like a damn fool for that. <laughs> You know, but uh, yeah, no, those scores, man. Like when you start reading the scores, like one six, Glenn Feldman, 116, 112. Frank Lombardi, 118, 110. Don oh, you Trump. mean Stevie Wonder? Yeah, 115, 110. I thought, okay, Meniere's well, like won this shit clear because honestly, it was any 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 one of those scores for Meniere's would have worked for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True, true. But then they were just like, oh, you thought. Yeah, no, I, I knew, I knew. I'm like, I, I, I just knew in the back of my head. Watch, they're gonna, they're gonna fuck him over, and they're gonna give it to Romero. Yeah, I was and, thinking like they're gonna probably use excuses like, oh, he just threw more power shots. I'm like, yeah, but most of it missed. The funny thing yeah. is, too, is Manera's outlanded him in every punch stat, including power yeah. shots. But overall, like his punch stats weren't too much, like, just I think he landed like ten more punches than Romero. Yeah. But you could tell whose punches were more impactful and whose punches helped with the overall ring generalship of the bout. Yeah, Maneras, Maneras was fine. Like, facially, he was fine. Romero had some cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought, a little battered. I thought, Romero, I thought Romero did better at the end, but overall, there was no question that he didn't win that fight. There's yeah. no way he won. Well, Romero right. made it better in the second half. I definitely agree yeah. with you. So, so like... The way I looked at it, and I talked about this, I was like, you know, when, when I, the 115-113 Romero is a stretch, but I can kind of see why, but that's still the, the, the stretch of all stretches. The rest of them is like, how the fuck do you get, how the fuck do you get him winning eight, ten rounds? Like, yeah, how the fuck does 118-110 come for, for him coming this fight? How? I, I just don't see it. Like, 
like Dollar just sign glasses, Pete. Just, just to give, just to give him, just to give him second seven rounds is basically giving him all the swing rounds, like looking for rounds to give him. And there was even, added, there was barely enough, there was barely any swing rounds to me. Like this that's what I was saying, like bro, like Romero won like four rounds at the most. Like I gave him five. I gave him. You, you I, I, I could see five, but yeah, four to five. Honestly, no more than five. Like yeah, and I think five is a stretch. But I could see, you know, for the sake of argument, five is cool. But it would have been a robbery if it would have been a draw. But I think yeah, we all would have accepted a, a draw. Yeah, yeah. Even a PBC draw would have been terrible, but it would have been better than this. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What one makes it even? I mean, one eighteen within doesn't even hide the fuckery. It's just like you know what? I was looking down my paper. I filled them shits up before the fight started, so I didn't have to watch the shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Lombardi was just like, nah, I was in some DMs right now. Uh, well, fuck it. I just won. I just put some numbers in. Like, I'm trying to go gamble after this, man. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was pissed. Unless he just non jabbing ass. <laughs> that padding fight. Like... But even the more unique thing about that fight is that everyone shit on him, including his people in his own stable. Like, even during oh the. Oh, my fight, God. That was yeah. amazing. I, yeah. I, this I've never seen before because usually, you know, there's a code. Like, you know, yeah. there, you rarely see fighters in their own, like, in the same stable shit on like this. Yeah. Everyone had jokes for Romero in, in his stable. I, yep. Once I saw, like, the first time, the first one I saw shitting on him was, was of course, Tank. But mm-hmm. I, I knew that was going to happen because they had their little rivalry. Then I saw Charlo. I'm like, okay. And then just one after, like, everybody was shitting on it. Literally, he was. Jack. <laughs> yes. And Badu Jack, Badu Jack wanted him. them decisions, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, Badu Jack <laughs> is really pissed right now. He probably, was, like, smacked over his TV. There was literally only, he literally had only one person in his corner, and that was Tail Fimo. Tail Fimo was the only one that was backing him. Yeah, and literally we, everybody else was shitting yeah, him. And we were definitely getting into the relation, um, the correlation between Tail Fimo and that and our, and our final topic of the night. Yeah, but it, I do want to say one of the highlights when everyone was dunking on Rolando was when he had that interview. And that interviewer did not even hold back. He's like, Rolando. We have all these information here. We have bar graphs. We have Twitter posts. We have social media. They all say wild buns. How do you feel about this? Yeah, we are 70, 77% of our Twitter users had you losing. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Um, I'll give him a rematch. Yeah, I'll give yeah, him, I'll a, give him no, a rematch. Dude, no, no. Please stay away from a rematch yeah. for now. Like, build yeah. yourself up a little bit. Mourinho is going to be like outside of his house yelling, let's go champ. Like honestly, this is probably it was probably the first time I ever I've seen all the promotions like unified, PBC, Top Rank, Golden Boy. They all were shitting on Oscar was shitting on this dude. Yeah, like, they came they came together to shit. <laughs> that's the only time they can't it'll ever come together. Yeah. So the it's unification. Like the, that's the only time where like in a brief second, Oscar and Ryan Garcia agreed and got along on something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, <laughs> they, they form like Avengers. They, they all form like everything. <laughs> they, they all form like they all form like Avengers to shit on this Thanos. <laughs> I was just gonna say like Voltron. they just all got together. Yeah, I was gonna say like Voltron. They just all got together like. <laughs> yeah, and which makes, which makes me think that yeah, Romero must rub people the wrong way. I mean, really rub people the wrong way. Lack of boxing <laughs> skills rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> I can imagine being in the gym with this dude. Yeah, it, I would uh, just have to sit down it, and ask him, like, what don't you like about the jab? I'm like, Floyd, how do you sign this nigga? His personality? Yeah. What, you like how he looks? Like, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, I mean, I know he brags missing about, something. I mean, he brags about his power a lot. I know that. Like, that and I... I he think didn't even look like he hit hard. It's just, it looked like he was just flailing and trying real hard. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I, I if there's knew anything he, I, about power, it's the power of him trying hard. And I knew he was going to use the, because I, I knew he was going to use the, oh, well, he uh, he only used jabs, and I threw more power punches and stuff. Power punches mean more than jabs. Like, I literally knew that was going to happen. How does that remind me going down memory lane of a certain forum where I've seen that argument pop up before? 
Swift, uh, Herrera. Swift, Swift. Yeah, I, I, I was literally just, I was literally just gonna, gonna say that. No, but don't that made me, more sense than this. Yeah. Don't get me started on that damn. But fight. shit, this, I actually think the Romero fight was like way worse. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh no, it is. Nick Garcia would Danny, look at that and be like, Danny Landon's some power shots. Even Daddy Garcia would be like, ah, you, you can shit on me on all this, but not that. Like, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't that. I didn't get outboxed that bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rom- and, and this, and they just did him an injustice too, because you know Romero was calling out other people, was calling out Love and Chico and shit like that. Like every top love, uh, lightweight right now will body this dude, easy. Or if not easy, probably got some like elite amateurs that would body do. Nah, not, even even jobbers would probably body him. Yeah, it's like yeah, don't don't get him around no uh, collared clay. <laughs> oh my god! Because <laughs> you know you know Kyle would lose twenty five pounds just to compete and expose him. <laughs> just Not even just to expose, he'd be like, "Oh, I could take a belt." Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> I'll take one of these GameStop belts. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I, I deserve a GameStop belt. <laughs> yeah, I want a I I want a Dollar General belt too. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. I deserve to put hands on a prospect that can't box for shit. Yeah, yeah. Some, some, somebody's gonna catch him. And so, I mean, I just hope Romero actually uses this as a lesson, you know, as a serious lesson to up his boxing skills a little bit. You know, tremendously. tremendously. I hope. I would hope so too. Like, if everyone's dunking on you right like that right now, like that should be yeah. a dead tail sign. Like, you got to prove him wrong. Yeah, because because I have a feeling like the day that this dude gets brutally knocked out, the shit is a wrap. Floyd's gonna probably drop him. I, I'm serious, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't really, know how he even got how he got there on the first place. Like, you know what? I, I have a feeling Floyd doesn't love even more skilled than him. I bet you Floyd doesn't even like make some of the final calls. They just like here's the name. He's like, oh, okay, stamp. I mean, yeah, he's good. I mean, I mean, Leon Love is still on that. Yeah, I was I was gonna say he's gonna get the Jay Leon Love treatment eventually. Yeah. You know, so I mean, these love look more capable than this kid. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, I didn't see anything redeem, no redeeming quality. Like, that, that Cuban kid who fought like 12 rounds the other day, way better than, and I know I was hard on him, but way better level. Way fight. better. I Not- bet you if somebody asked him, why'd you pick Rolando? He'd say he was young, hungry, hell of a fighter. Yeah. That and he probably brags a lot too. So it's like, okay, maybe I can sell this cat. You know, this dude likes to brag about his KOs and he has power. You know, maybe yeah. he's a he's a market minded first. So he's just like, what can get me the most tickets? Yeah. The problem is he fights at one thirty five. One thirty five. As much as they don't mix it up like they usually do, they have they have some very capable fighters that can lay a beating on them. So it's it's gonna be only who's gonna do it. Is it gonna be somebody within PBC, or is it gonna be like a jobber that they hire that will just upset the apple cart? I mean, it's... oh, there's Devin Haney, Teofimo, Lomachenko, so like a guy like with them. Comey, Campbell, yeah. Easter, Fortuna, Linares. Yeah, see, these all, every single one will put their foot in his ass. So it's yeah. It's just a conga line of punches. Yeah, I just hope he improves. That ain't worth um, it. Yeah, Dang. I just hope yeah. he improves. I, I don't really want to see him on my TV until you know, he improves. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody else needs that opportunity. Like you can't be that trash and get plot armor too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to be Yamcha at some point. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, Romero, and like I said, you know, there there was at least one fire taken off for him. You know, Teofimo Lopez, and we'll definitely get into that situation um, yeah. you know, later on in the cast. Um, the main event, though, was interesting enough. Yeah. You know, we had David, <laughs> we had David Benavides. You know, that was supposed to defend his super weight. Super middleweight, super weight, super middleweight <laughs> title. <laughs> I didn't even mean to say that. It just slipped out. <laughs> it's so accurate. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> World super weight title uh, against Romer and Gulo. But unfortunately, do decide that, hmm, yes, I've been working hard, but I go to the way and I'm three pounds over the limit, you know. And he didn't bother. Scales remain undefeated. Funny thing is, too, he it, that wasn't his first step. He had two hours to go try to lose it or tie it, but he said he was bone dry. So he decided, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna give up the give up the button. Let me go to the buffet and eat. 
<laughs> but then the bubble was a different setup, man, because he said they had no sauna, so he couldn't do that at the end like he normally does. So he couldn't go for a run. And he couldn't remember, jump rope. Remember, remember what I told you a while ago about my boy that texted me that said a lot of people are, you know, motherfuckers is not ready, not in shape. He texted me like that morning. He's like, "What I tell you? What I tell you?" I'm like then I looked. I'm like. <laughs> This fat motherfucker. Of course, it would be Ben. <laughs> I don't know why. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Why I didn't think Ben? Oh, it's believable. Be- <laughs> like I didn't doubt you one minute when you told us that. Yeah, neither did I. So it's it's a like, the home room. He, the, and the motherfucker like didn't. Home room, man. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't even like bother to like. Uh, he didn't even try. He's just like ah, fuck it. I'm not gonna make this shit, and I'm not even gonna try. Like the audacity. to win the fight. The yeah. audacity. <laughs> I know. He was just... But anyway, let's go to this heavy bag session. I mean, this fight. Yeah, so basically, the belt was only on line for Angulo. So, obviously, that fight slipped to the eyes of it. So, who? Hmm, maybe Angulo can actually catch him with something um, in the fight. Well, he did, and it just wasn't enough because this motherfucker came in at 195. You know, which, which pretty much makes me think that he shouldn't fight at super middleweight no more. He's like, a light heavy at best. Yeah, at best, yeah. Oh, nah, like, this nigga, this nigga might be a cruiserweight, really. That's yeah. why I said at best. Yeah, yeah, I know. PBC is probably pissed too because it just it fucked up the in-house unification that they that they been trying to do with Caleb Plant and everything. Yeah, so. he did. But so yeah. this is the thing is like Benavidez always looks kind of like I wouldn't say pudgy, but loose, like to the point where mm-hmm. I don't think you see him as toned and ripped as he could be even when he was making weight in all his other fights like yeah like i don't know like it makes me just wonder how his training is because it might be also because of like from how big he used to be it might also just be the extra skin from how being how how big he got he just can't get rid of it yeah i mean dude he need to lift some fucking weights then like (laughs) no i'm serious like may may as well shit I mean, you're probably right. I mean, but I mean, it seemed to work for him. But yeah, I mean, he looks ordinary. Like when he loses all the way, he just looks an ordinary built person. But and it, but the worst thing about him is that he's he actually has some talent. Like in that angle, like basically, I mean, he moved kind of slow or whatever, and he still got caught with some right hands. But Dude was lighting and Google up like it was nobody's business. Like and yeah. Google had nothing for him. It couldn't split his guard. And then he was just catching work. It was just, yeah, it was basically it was heavy bad work. Uh, you, no, you gotta also gotta like give Angulo those little moments where he tried to do Balrog Hoopers from Street Fighter. Yeah. From one end <laughs> of the ring to the other. He like yeah, he had to charge up for like two and a half minutes, but otherwise, yeah. He's like he had the right strategy, but he just didn't have all the tools to implement it efficiently. Cause you know you want to get inside on uh, Benavidez for some backwards. Don't He's waste your time. Straight up, right? Yeah, don't waste your time going for his head. Just go for his torso. Yeah, go for his body, and then you do the looping overhead shots. Like ben- Benavidez, he's open for all of that, but he hasn't fought a guy yet that could really just bring that style that 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 approaches him right, where we could be like, okay, Benavidez, yeah, yeah. To be fair, those killer instinct combos, I wouldn't even want to get close. It's better to be close. If you just stand that long range, he's just gonna fire him off at your ass. And then when he start getting into his groove in the in the fifth round, then yeah, that's when his uh, Amir Khan combo proc kicks in. But it's worse because he actually got like power behind it. Like Amir Khan, a lot of times them just be like little flurries. Like yeah. Chris Algieri's walking you down through, through them flurries. <laughs> you got problems. Yeah. I think what also cracked me up is when he started to getting those like cleaner and cleaner shots. You could hear Benavidez like getting hype on his own shots. It's like, ooh, mm. yeah. every single time he threw, I couldn't stop laughing. This dude yeah, was, was loving a, everything yeah, he did. Yeah, no, that shit was annoying. <laughs> well, he did yeah, say before the fight, he, lo- he loves the crowd. So because the crowd's not there, he's got to be his own hype man. <laughs> <laughs> one one weekend is track night. This weekend, this weekend was the fucking damn breathing night. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also because like when people decided to pay attention people didn't realize when they did those advertisements be like this is what it sounds like I'll punch someone there's no crowd so I'm like so basically any gym yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was I felt insulted when they made that video. I'm just like, hey, some of us have been in the gym and we've seen sparring sessions. We know what the sound of gloves on a person. Well, hold on, face. wait, wait, wait. Not all the boxing media has stepped in fo- stepped foot in a gym now. Yeah. I, I I deserve to be in boxing by proxy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Not everybody has stepped foot in the gym. Some of y'all have stepped foot in Dunkin' Donuts all the time, but <laughs> not the gym. Yeah, you, you might know how you know uh, a donut going into some coffee sounds like <laughs> but you might not know what the, um, the heavy bag and fucking uh, the double end bag sound me so you know. you know how a rumbling stomach sounds like <laughs> <laughs> you know what it feels those, like when those, the... yeah those rumbling those rumblings in my stomachs are that's how body shots feel <laughs> <laughs> nah I'd be like that's you just at the toilet after you have something that went bad <laughs> Oh man, you, you know you know the sound of a fork raking off the trash in the damn uh, garbage can. At the ah. <laughs> you know the sound of the crackhead outside of the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh so, man, man. Yeah, but I did. yeah, it was just yes. it, it was just a bad ass whooping, man. It was just, and they finally pulled the plug on that shit in the, after the tenth round. You know, it was just like you know, thank God. Yeah, yeah. that was a mercy. That was a mercy. Fucking stop. Yeah, yeah, it, they could have stopped it sooner than that. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say should have been stopped two, like two or three rounds prior, but yeah, yeah, because Benavides was having the time of his life. He's just like, oh, word, you're not gonna move. Well, I'm just gonna do everything that we practice in camp. Yeah, so you, just like the other Angulo. I know. <laughs> Except he moves his head sometimes. <laughs> said, Look, ma, both hands. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. Oh yeah, man. man. Yeah, it, it, like I said, it was disappointing because, like I said, you could see the talent in Benavides, but he's just undisciplined. He's very undisciplined, you know. And, and, Especially and, and, when you find out what are the instances of him being undisciplined. And basically, I mean, it, dude dropped the same title twice and still and still undefeated. I've never seen that before. I mean, first time because he, you know, he failed his drug test because of cocaine. And this one is just... Which is horrible. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Screw it. Back that up. Uh, Nothing yeah. worse than a young cokehead. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I was I was dying when I seen what fucking Caleb Plant tweeted to fucking Benavidez. Oh, I thought a bitch that kept losing his belt and can't get it back said something. Like, damn. <laughs> I mean, oh, the, you knew Caleb Plant was ready. I mean, you know, the, I mean, the cokehead thing, like, you know, I mean, because dude was coming to fights in the fucking disco inferno suit, Saturday night, yep. shit. like, yeah. dude, dude, dude was clearly on something. Fucking boogie nights ass nigga. <laughs> he just had the Latin freestyle playlist on repeat. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I would like he would he would walk into the fucking he'd walk into the spot and I'd be hearing in my head she's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, dude, dude was clearly, I mean, dude had to be zooted to be wearing what he was wearing when he got popped. You know, so I mean, you know, exactly. even, for some people, the last time they saw a zoot suit was in Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like bruh like I can understand if it was weed but coke nigga cocaine he went all the way back yeah he is like, nigga, like what you, you was auditioning for the role of an 80s 1980s heavyweight like <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> he wanted to recreate Scarface yeah <laughs> I'm like dude like I, I don't know man I just that's a bad look man a young coke yeah. kid yeah, yeah, and and like I said, I mean, you see, he has enough talent. He shouldn't be on that shit. But like I said, boxers, boxers have the strangest, strangest vices. Like, you, I mean, obviously, if you've been around them, you see, you you you've seen all types of shit. What they what they're capable of getting into. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Especially, especially if they get money. If they get money. Woo! Yeah. Well, they on some crazy shit, man. Yeah, they got some. Mess- you think NBA players are wild? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I don't think nobody's Benavidez is wild. <laughs> I was gonna say Benavidez is a category of his own. <laughs> turn him loose and turn him loose with uh, Antoine, uh, Antoine uh, Walker. <laughs> y- y'all having a crazy spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> that is a Netflix series waiting to happen. Throw so Scotty Pippen's jet in there, and I don't know what y'all gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Pippen is extremely deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! man. Yeah, but yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't this, man, I mean, now, now that his title is gone, obviously, you know, by tomorrow we should hear who's going to uh, fulfill that vacancy. 
you know, in a fight, though. And obviously, like I said, this kills PBC's in-house unification with Kale Plant, who obviously was pissed about that. So it's going to be... I mean, I think I know. I think, I mean, I think we all know who's going to get their crack at the WBC next. It's, you know, it's the WBC. WBC is we blow Canelo. So <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of what uh, Tony used to call it. But yeah, you know, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's going to. Yeah, it's, I mean, most likely it's probably leaning toward it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they announce it, you know. But hey, I mean, Benavides has himself to blame. But he still, he st- he still thinks he's going to make 168. I'm like, bro, just go. Nah, he can't. He can't. He, I, I, I don't think he can make it anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, this is the first time he missed weight, though, right? In a while, yeah. I think it's been like years. Like, yeah. I don't so know. I give him they, benefit they, of the doubt. Yeah, there's still a chance. Yes, it's it just looks- annoying though that he like he lost the belt twice for like yeah. various reasons. Yeah. Either There's either way, I've changed my mind. I think I think Plant beats him, and if they if they do fight, I think Plant beats him. Plant's biggest issue for Benavides is just is simply just a bigger, stronger guy. But it wouldn't be that much different from when he fought. Uh, was Katugi? What the hell do you pronounce that guy's name? Last name? Uskatugi. Uskatugi. Yeah, that that guy, because he was just a big, strong guy, and then Caleb Plant found a strategy, which is really the best option when you think about it, because Benavides really succeeds when you sit still. Yeah, that, and that's Plant the that's the history. never sit still. Ben, ben, Benavides footwork is atrocious. Like I said, every time I watch him fight and every time I see him throw punches, I literally feel like he's like it's almost like he's literally throwing punches in quicksand, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at the start of the fight, all that uh, Benavides sees is a timer going down. He says, like, knock him out before the quicksand kills you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, can, he, can't, he can't throw punches if his feet aren't set. Like, his feet have to be completely set. I think Caleb will pick him off. Well, yeah, he if you know somebody has, like, uh, what I call rock him, sock him robot feet where they want to sit down and, like, drive in, yeah, just take him out for a walk every single time. I mean, Caleb Plant would do a better version of what Darrell was doing against um, Benavidez. Yeah. Game plan. But he'll just pull it off for the whole fight. <laughs> yeah. See, the, a, a prime Pascal, I think, would be real bad for him. Or a guy with guy with Pascal style. Even um like Salido. Um, even a person, if they fought like how Jessica M- McCaskill, <clears throat> uh, they go low. Lux. And then wing the damn heavy overhand shots, cause he just stand, he's up there standing to take them all. It just no he one is. does it. He is. And I mean, the thing is, that's like one of the things where like his main line of defense is leaning back, but he doesn't even like take his back foot back to give him some distance. He just leans back. So if you just double up on moving forward, he ha- he has to go back into the ropes. Bruh, I'm telling you, someone could get a crazy knockdown on Benavidez. Well, the, the thing is, though, I mean, we, we've seen we've seen the benefits that almost lose against Ronald Gavro. I mean, Gavro exposed a lot of his flaws in the in that first and knocked him down. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, it's there, but like I said, but benefits to his credit, he did it just and he did bust Gavro up in the rematch. But, yeah. Damn, see, niggas got to start watching tape, man. <laughs> That's the, I mean, I can't be seeing all this shit, and then it's like no one's doing it, like. Yeah, I'm gonna just say Tape. this. We can... <laughs> Tape. <laughs> is that, What's that? Is that is that what they use in the what they call a a, a VCR? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I'm gonna just for the new niggas on uh, YouTube. The YouTube, yeah. It's like, oh, oh, the YouTube. Why not on TikTok though? <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, that is actually something that I've I've had in conversations with some other people because in like. Uh, NFL, even NHL, stuff like that. They have an analyst who studies footage. Why is that not encouraged in striking? Yeah. There's, there's, there's always the trainer, there's always the coach, coach, but there's nobody who does like, let's watch the tape. Because most, most of the time they think they're too cool to do it. Like in this generation, it's not cool to actually do things like that, which, which is which is the truth. Yeah, what, no, it's cool yeah, these, to, these, to, to not study these, and get a C on the test. Yeah, nah, these dudes would rather... I've had, these dudes, I've had my heyday doing that in college. It's not worth it. Yeah, nah, these dudes, they don't study They don't study tape. They're, they find out about somebody's flaws when somebody else fights them and fucking just exposes the flaw. Then it's like, oh, oh shit. I saw him do that. Now I can do it. 
jumps up in the bears. <laughs> like now they get all happy and, and brave. It's like a belief system niggas be having now. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a street ball game. It's like, yo, I got next, I got next, I got next, I got next. And then like the fifth guy comes on and he's seen everybody play bad and get tired and he's like, yeah, yeah, I could beat him. And then he wins. Yeah, like he did something with like, dude, everybody done exposed the man. <laughs> Flows for you. It's like you just let all the Vegetas get knocked out and you come in like Goku. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> A whole series, a whole season of damn fights done transpired, and you come at the end like, yeah, I think I could do this now. <laughs> it's like the arcade. Like, somebody's, like, struggling, and then they figure it out, then they put their quarter in. I got next. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's legit. I think everybody kind of did that. I know I did. Oh, you yeah, at the nah. last level? Fuck that. Hold on. Let me, let me yeah. jump on this. I, I, shit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let me pick Colossus of Wolverine. Yeah, I check right now. Yeah, all, all, all these... All these, all these niggas right now, all these fighters are the boxing equivalent of past the sticks. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, you ran out of quarters? All right, let me run one with you, bro. All right. Oh, hold on, the, your, 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 your controller is not um, charged up all the way. I got mine. Like, hey, bro, like. You're on the final stage of Ninja Turtles? Yo, let me hop in. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Like, mm -mm, nah. Y'all, y'all gotta like be as best as you can. Like, stop waiting for the next man. So yeah. uh, hopefully, yeah. um, Benavides bounces back, and hopefully, Angulo wasn't too hurt. Yeah, no, tough guy. He seems like a very sturdy individual, but I truly hope they do proper medical checks on him. Yeah, sure. yeah I don't want to see him fight for another six months. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I feel like I feel like that's like. A an, uh, an attribute for Angulos. Is it Angulos? <laughs> yeah. Slow but tough. Exactly. Oh. So to all you Angulos out there, just give it a try. Use your chin. <laughs> oh, man. Ring Gang Radio does not Ring Gang Radio does not sponsor you getting yourself hurt. So don't actually take my words to the heart. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, moving on to the to the, to the next couple. 